Hi there, Craig Harmon from Harmony Music. Uh, today I'm going to share with you three tools, some ideas on how to organize. We're at the start of 2015 and one of the things that we all try to do at the beginning of a new year is focus on a new start, trying to uh, be better organized, to be better on top of things so that we're able to be our most creative and to be able to do our best in whatever musical endeavor that we're doing. And so one of the easy things to do is to start off with being organized, or at least bettering the organization that you already have in place. So the first step, and, and I think it's a fairly simple step, is how are you organizing your music? Um, are you organizing it by books? Are you organizing it by composer? Is it just haphazard piles? Um, I know many musicians, that kind of seems to be the case, that it's just piles of music. And so sometimes things can get lost, and you don't always know what you have. Um, so I would encourage you, if you don't have an organizational system in place, even just organize by season um, or organize by composer, um, whatever the case is, um, some sort of organizational system is a huge help. What I do, and it's a little bit over the top, I know, um, is I have an Excel file as a, as a church organist that um, I've gone through in every book I've gone through the title of the piece. Uh, now that was a lot of work and a lot of time in doing it, but now I know that if I've got Amazing Grace as one of the hymns for a worship service on Sunday, I can go to that Excel file and look up, here's all my uh, organ pieces that I have based on that hymn tune. Um, and so that makes it a lot easier for me. Not everybody's going to do that, and that's okay. The second set of ideas is to go through, as you're, as you're organizing, go through the music that you have. If you haven't played through the music that's in a book in five years and you don't think you're going to play through it in the next five years, pass it on to somebody else. Um, one of the blessings I've had as a musician is having family members who are also musicians and other musicians along the way who have passed on music as they've retired or as they've gone through and culled some of their music. And that's been such a great, not only cheap resource, but it's also been a benefit to me that the music's already been marked up. And so it's a great perspective to look at the music that somebody else has played to get how they would how they would play it and maybe that gives me some ideas on how I should play it and maybe some ideas on how I should not play it. Uh, but it definitely helps to, to be able to do that. And as you go through it, it gives you an opportunity to see what your potential challenge pieces for 2015 could be if you're looking for those. Um, and, and just to know what you have and know what you know, know what music you've got and can play. Finally, um, <clears throat> being creative um, sometimes means that we have to have that space to be creative. Um, some people work well in chaos and craziness. Um, personally, I don't, and, and I know of many musicians that don't either. Um, so making sure that that space, whether it's around your piano, wherever your instrument is set up, whether you're composing, uh, making sure that you've got an organized space where you've got everything at your, at your fingertips, um, but making sure that that's set and ready for you. I have two young daughters and so chaos and craziness usually abound at my house, um, but I try to control that as much as I can. Um, and I've realized that over the month of December, life has been kind of crazy. And so that's my project for today is to get back into that uh, swing of organizing that creative space for me. The blessing for me is Mondays are my day off from my church music ministry position. And so my girls are at school and childcare, and my wife's at work, and so the house is quiet. Um, so, but not everybody's blessed with that opportunity. But you can make the best of whatever space and whatever time that you have. So as we start a new year, um, this is an opportunity to get ourselves organized, to get ourselves ready to be the best musicians that we can be in 2015. I'd love to hear your feedback because these are just three ideas that have worked for me. I know there are many, many more out there. So if you have any ideas, send me an email at Harmony Music, that's all one word, H-A-R-M-A-N-N-Y music at yahoo.com. Or make sure that you're subscribed to my blog. It's at www.harmonymusic.com. Um, every day I am trying to put up some kind of content, whether it's a video like this or um, a blog post or things like that. Uh, but you can sign up to be notified of when there's new content on the website. If not, just check back daily or as often as you can. Um, and there'll be new stuff for you.